Alicia, can you just please, uh, let's begin with how did you hear about Hungry Generation and what was your life like before uh, you gave your life to Christ? I was invited to come last year and I came a couple of times, but it wasn't until earlier at the beginning of this year that I was dedicated to this church. Um, prior to Hungry Generation, I grew up in a Catholic background. Um, we went to church regularly. God was in our life, but I don't believe I started following him until I came here. Um, my life was consumed with fear. Um, it was something that I didn't realize up until recently that it was passed down to me and that I had passed down to my girls. And it... Um, Basically, everything we did revolved around it, and it became a normal. We didn't, I didn't know that we were covered with the spirit of fear, and it was a generational curse. And so a lot of times we have those normal fears of where like, okay, don't go here because obviously the aftermath, if you were to jump off a cliff, there's some of those natural fears. But tell us a little bit about the fear that was operating in your life that almost just took away your peace and just took away your everyday living. Um, as a little girl, I couldn't go play outside because someone was going to kidnap me. Um, it ended up being to where um, I tell people until, you know, I got married and left my parents' home. I was my mother's charm bracelet because I couldn't, uh, if we went to a restaurant, I couldn't walk to the bathroom by myself. I had to have my mother come with me. <laughs> I'm a teenager in high school who couldn't go to the bathroom by herself, you know. Um, my children... My oldest, she is so well behaved because I used the same tactics my parents did raising me, which were the scare tactics. You know, you're, you you got to stay in line and be good and do as I tell you. Otherwise, God's going to punish you. And um, that was basically what it was. We, the bad things that happened in our life was because we did something wrong and God was punishing us and we accepted it and we were going to live the punishment and... Um, my youngest, um, uh, potty training her was hard because even the flushing of the toilets terrified her. She would tremble. She would hold her ears. She would scream because little things like that, going to the ocean, to vacation, the waves just terrified her, the sounds, everything. So, um, I realized after reading the Break Free series, that it was the spirit of fear that was consuming us. And it wasn't just me, but it came down from my mom and it came down from her mom and her dad. And that we, as a child of God, had the authority to not live it. Yes. That we can take ownership of this and say, no, you are not welcomed here. So... As soon as I started learning more of the Word of God, um, when I started coming here, when I started coming here uh, earlier this year, I decided to give my life to Jesus. That day, I met Kelly, and she invited me to her home group. Two days later, I was at her house, and after home group, she held me aside and said, God talked to me today. And she said, and he, sorry, Kelly said, God talked to me today, and he said that he wanted me to give you a few Bible verses. The first one was Psalms 91, and the, sex, the second one was Exodus 12. And with that, she also gave me a tiny vial of oil that she bought in Bethlehem. And she said, I know this was meant for you. And God wants me to tell you that you don't need to be afraid anymore. So when you go home, you pray around your house and you put oil over your doors and your windows and you pray and it's going to be okay. Immediately, I started crying <laughs> because for the first time, I knew God was hearing my prayers. From years of years of living in fear, he was hearing my prayers. Immediately after, I noticed my girls were no longer afraid to be at home. They didn't know. They didn't know why they were so afraid. 
but they knew something was, had them terrified. And I talked to them and I said, we're going to pray. And they didn't need to be afraid anymore. And I could see the difference. Yeah. And it wasn't until um, recently that I knew it was just overwhelming us, the yeah. fear in our home. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't necessarily us, but just the pass down of the, of the spirit. Yeah. And so earlier uh, in the month of November... Um, Kelly prayed over Aliana after one of our churches. This is Aliana right here. <laughs> Kelly prayed over Aliana. And um, two days later, when we went to home group, I took the girls with me, and we all prayed as a group together. And later on that week, Aliana decided to give her heart to Jesus. Yes. It was on November 16th. The next day, we saw my mother, and she was just all over the place. And my mom says, what's going on with her? Why is she so happy and jumping off the walls? And I said, that's the Spirit of God, Mom. Yeah, come on. The day after, my Viviana, right here, this is Viviana, she decided to give her life to Jesus. Yes. And we went to visit my father afterwards, and my father's wife says, why are all you girls so happy? There's a change in you. And I said, because we gave our lives to Christ, yes. all of us. Yes. Since then, I've noticed Aliana, who was mostly tormented, the worst of all of us, she talks herself out of being afraid. Yeah. She sees things that terrify her, and I can hear her saying, no, it's not this, it's not that, and, like, takes that away on her own. Come on, come on. And I know that it wasn't just because I've been, you know, dedicated to church and whatnot. It's because I've learned that this isn't something we have to live with, and we can take authority of it and remove it from our lives. So, um... I've learned that um, this is something we can take care of ourselves, and it's not something we have to deal with. So I've decided that I was going to purchase a book for each one of my mom's family members, um, her sisters and her brothers, and give it to them for Christmas, the Break Free series, uh, because um, as Catholics, these are things that we are sheltered from. We are protected from those scary things, but they use those to keep us in line. And I, I really want my family to know that we don't have to live like this at all. Come on. We don't have to. Amen. Thank you so much, Elisa. Give them another just great hand of applause. Thank you so much.